Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Roger Johnson and Seema Katecha. Now, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will today begin a, begin a tour across Britain by train to thank key workers. Chris, you disappeared uh, behind your uh, clever tree. computer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> behind his gigantic tree. <laughs> um, right, it's, it's quarter past six. Should we have a look at the front? Yeah, we're going to talk to him just before ten to nine. And uh, if you recognised yourself in any of those pictures, uh, let us know. Do get in touch. Right, shall we move on to sport? Holly is, is here. Um, Spinning round in their shell, that's But, you know, you I can think. be sniffy about that. Some people will, might well be, Chris. Oh, I might stand the oh, I'd love Don't to see. Indeed, we'll catch up with you a little later. Cheers, Chris. Now it's time for survival to the brink and back, which follows veteran explorer Robin Hanbury Tennyson, who spent weeks in a coma. Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Roger Johnson and Seema Katecha. Hello there. It's Sunday the 6th of December. Our top story today, the UK's chief Brexit negotiator will travel to Brussels this morning. Now, at six minutes past seven, hospitals uh, will receive their first deliveries of the new coronavirus vaccine tomorrow as the UK prepares to begin its largest ever immunisation programme. So I'll have to make up for it today. Could be a job for, could, could be a job for me this afternoon. So, uh, yes, I'll have the fireworks on standby. Now, the Andrew Marr show is on BBC One at nine o'clock. Hey, Andrew. Hello, this is Breakfast with Roger Johnson and Seema Katecha. Good morning. Here's a summary of today's main stories from BBC News. And the UK begins its largest ever immunisation programme. Now, the jabs are expected to be administered on Tuesday to frontline health staff, people over the age of 80 and care home workers. Uh, now, you'll know uh, if you've been watching the programme this week over the uh, last few days since Tuesday, in fact, we've been following Kevin Sinfield's incredible seven marathons in seven days challenge. Well, yesterday brought a moment of true friendship when the former rugby league star was reunited with his best mate at the finish line. Incredible. He's raised more while I try to get the number out. <laughs> I'm going to Holly with the sport looking radiant as ever, Holly. Oh, thank you very much. It's a gym jam day. <laughs> Home and on the sofa. Watch all that. Thanks, Holly. 7.42 now. Uh, time for Click with Spencer Kelly. Now we're here on the BBC News Channel until nine this morning. But this is where we say goodbye to viewers on BBC One. Have a good day. Bye for now.